Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to talk about AOs, Animation Overriders. When you first log into Second Life, you have a starter avatar and it comes with a very basic AO, which is simply a cube in your inventory. If you take it off, you walk like a duck, because the default walk in Second Life is from the dawn of the grid and all animations, much like Ruth and body parts, go over it, hence the term Overrider. Most people want to upgrade their AOs once they get used to Second Life. The good news is that even the cheapest of AOs can be worth having. If you shop around, you can even find some really good ones that are free. At the other end of the scale, a high quality Bento AO with dances and other interesting extras will probably cost you around 2000 linden. Unlike the starter AOs, most AOs come in the form of a HUD or heads up display. You add it to your avatar and it will appear on your screen in a predetermined place. In most cases, you can move it to where you find the most convenient place if you're not happy with where it lands up. Alternatively, you can detach it and then reattach it using Add and Attach to HUD to choose another place. So let's look at an AO. Here you can see I'm just standing still. No movement other than the occasional arms on the hips. If it wasn't for my bento face animations, I'd look like a statue. It's not a very natural way to stand. And I'm not wearing an AO. This is just what happens without one. Now, if I turn on my AO, you can see the difference. I move naturally, even though I'm only standing still. Because standing still is never actually still. Of course, AOs are not just to make you stand naturally. They will affect the way you walk, the way you sit, the way you jump, they can make pretty much any movement look much nicer than the defaults and the HUD allows you to customise which animations you use. The more complex the AO, the more you can do with it, usually. AOs are great as they are, and there is no need to do anything to them, although you can usually add animations if you wish. You can also put your AO into the Firestorm viewer. If you're wondering why you would bother, there are a few reasons. Firstly, it saves screen real estate, which is always a good thing, particularly if you don't have a very big monitor. Secondly, it means you can still have an AO functioning if you go to places where scripts are not allowed. Thirdly, and this is probably the best reason, it decreases lag. Lag is what may happen when there are many avatars with many scripts running. It's a slowing down of movement, chat, resing of scenery and items. It's a pain. I'm going to show you how to put your AO into Firestorm. Before you do anything else, make a copy of your AO. Copy your AO, have a backup, ensure you have more than one, just do it. If you mess up, it's okay, and there's a good chance you might if you've never done anything like this before. Okay? So you've got a copy. Yes, yes you have. Now, create a new inventory window by going to the little cog icon at the bottom of your inventory and choosing New Inventory Window from the drop-down menu. In your Animation folder, create a new folder and name it something you'll remember, like AO Animations. Now go back to the first inventory, click on that copy you made and drag it to the ground in World. It will res as a box. A word of caution here. HUDs differ and they can be incredibly small. 
don't take your eyes off where you're resting, and come around if you can't see it. Sometimes some sides of the HUD are invisible. It will be there. Now right-click on the HUD on the ground and choose Edit. A dialog box will appear. Click on the Content tab in the dialog box. Wait for the contents to load. You'll see it says Loading Contents until it's done. When the contents are loaded, you need to choose every animation to copy across to your inventory, which you can do by highlighting, dragging and dropping. I would suggest first of all that you make sure they can be copied, and then that you move them in groups. SL can sometimes get upset if you try to move a bunch of stuff from an object. Now look for a note card in the contents that says something like Default AO. If you copy across the wrong note card, don't worry. Now you can pick up your AO or delete it, as you still have an extra copy in your folder. Now the clever bit. For most AOs, this method of setting up your Firestorm AO will work. First of all, open the AO icon that you dragged to the bottom of your screen. You didn't drag it? OK, then let's do that again so you can see how. Right click any icon and choose Toolbar Buttons. Find the AO button and drag it down anywhere on the bottom of your screen. Done. So, back to the clever bit. Open the AO icon. A small dialog box will appear. Open that fully by clicking the wrench icon. Now, locate that folder you created and the default AO note card in it. Drag the note card to the main area on the dialog box. It will say Reloading Config. Please wait. So, please wait. When it's loaded, you may need to click Reload, which is never a bad idea anyway. When it's done, you'll see animations appear in the AO dialog box. Now click the check mark and close the dialog box. Now, when you click the check box on the AO icon, your AO will work. Notice I do not have my external AO on. This is all within Firestorm. I'm guessing we've reached the bit where some of you will be screaming at your monitor. There are several reasons that the method I've outlined won't work. However, before you slap the dislike button, I'm going to show you another way to get your AO into Firestorm that should work for everyone. The truth is, my AO is pretty complex, and I had to modify the default note card just to show you the first method. The method does work, but definitely not for every AO. This second method takes longer, but it will work pretty much every time. I'm going to show you my modified note card, because it may help to explain what we're doing. AO note cards are usually laid out in a certain way. Although this note card looks complex, it isn't. Here I'm highlighting the first section, which are stands. After stands is a collection of letters and numbers separated by the pipe symbol. Each one is an animation. I'll show you the animation in my inventory so you can see how it matches the first one on the list.
you'll see there are other sections that follow. Walking, sitting, sitting on ground, crouching, etc. Each section has letters and numbers that exactly match an animation in my inventory. Now let me show you how this knowledge will help you, because we're going to set up the AO again. I deleted what I did before, so I'm starting from scratch, just like you may be. If you have an AO note card, then keep it open and handy for reference. If you don't, we'll still manage. Open up your AO dialog box. Click the plus icon and create a new animation set. Title it as you wish. Once it's finished configuring, you'll have an empty box, but ready to fill. Look where my cursor is. It says standing. This matches the section I showed you in the note card. It needs to be filled with all your stand animations. If you have your AO note card, you can easily work out which these are. If you do not, then you will usually find they are labelled so you can tell. In my case, each animation title that starts with V-A-E-S-T-S-T -S -T is a stand. Working this out wasn't too hard, because I could look through the other animations and see that they were labelled clearly with sit, jump, fly, etc. So it's a process of elimination. Of course, if you're not sure, double-click one in your inventory and your avatar will play the animation. Then you'll know. Now we'll drag each stand animation into the box in the middle. When those are done, click the drop-down box where it says Standing, and you'll see there are all the sections that match the sections you can see in my note card. So we fill the next one in the same way, in this case with Walks. Then there's running. I'll drag that animation in now.
and so on. Match each section with the correct animations, and don't forget you can check what an animation is by double-clicking it in your inventory to play it. I'll fill in the rest off-screen. This video is going to be long enough. When you're done, click the check mark and then reload. You may want to click the cycle box too, so that the animations cycle and you get a more natural effect. And that's it. Click the checkbox on the AO icon and your AO will work. If you do have issues, try moving or just reload again, but it should be fine straight off the bat now. And that's what an AO is and how to put it in Firestorm. For eagle-eyed viewers, yes, my standard AO is placed in a poor position. It was simply to get it out of the way for filming. Your AO may have a lot of extra sections too, so place it carefully or accept where it puts it by default. Now have fun with it. And now we've come to the end of the video. If you're not used to this sort of editing or have problems with your AO, I'm happy to try to help. Drop a comment if you need help and I'll do my best for you. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.